Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, all please rise for the presentation of the colors by the Choctaw High School Air Force Junior ROTC Color Guard. And please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem and prayer. Most colors. Please remain standing as we enter into a time of prayer. Good morning, Lord. What an amazing day you've given us. For that we give you thanks. For this is a day that you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And we celebrate this new season with the opening of this new concourse. So today we come together to bless this new concourse, Concourse C. Those who will come through its doors. May these travelers bring good news from afar, coming with all an expectation of what they will encounter. While being here, be met with your presence and peace. Then go back full of joy and hope. We also want to bless all those whose hands help make this amazing facility. All of our partners, from discussion to paper to construction to all the finishing touches and all points in between. For that, we also give you thanks. We also honor all of our airline partners, but today especially honor our legion and their investment in this community. As they have sown and continue to sow into our community, may they also reap an amazing reward. Lord, I give you thanks for Tracy and his team, the team here at Eglin, the team from Okaloosa County, and of course the team here from Allegiant. Thank you for the vision that was brought forth. For your word says in Habakkuk to write the vision and make it plain so that whoever reads it can run with it. Today, we get to sit on this side of that vision and celebrate the grand opening of the fruits of everyone's labor. May you bless this concourse with perfect peace. Provide a hedge of protection around about this and the whole BPS complex and all aircraft coming in and out of these gates. And may these gates be anointed by the Holy Spirit, that all who pass through experience you and your goodness while they're here, regardless of what they've brought with them or why they're brought here military, tourism, business. May they come one way and leave inspired to shine bright with your purposes. We also give thanks for all of our fighting men and women and all first responders throughout this region. Be with them today as they serve to protect us. Now may your blessing and peace be upon us in this gathering today, Lord, for we give you the thanks and honor for this amazing day and this new season and this grand opening of this Allegiant Concourse, Concourse C. We ask all this in your amazing name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.
Take your seats. Thank you Chairman, thank you uh, for those very powerful words. And, uh, <coughs> please, everyone, if you could help me, let's, let's give a round of applause to Cadet Senior Master Sergeant Christian Shelton for that. Woo! Thank you, Christian. Uh, I heard it. Really good. I was standing right there. <laughs> <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> good morning. I am uh, Tracy Stage, Okaloosa County Airport's director. On behalf of the airport's team, thank you for attending the Allegiant Air Concourse C ribbon cutting ceremony. In attendance today, I would like to recognize a few of our special guests. Please, uh, if you would just raise your hand and and uh, we'll hold applause to the end because I, uh, <coughs> I hope I didn't miss anybody, but I got a lengthy list. So, Senior Vice President, Government Affairs and Airport Affairs with Allegiant, Mr. Keith Hansen. Director of Airport Affairs, Mr. Thane Kingler with Allegiant. Manager of Corporate Communications, Mrs. Rachel Christensen with Allegiant. Area Manager, General Manager, VPS Allegiant, Mr. Stephen Kane. Regional Manager, In-Flight Services with Allegiant, Amber Williams. Station Supervisor at VPS with Allegiant, Mike Zimmerman. And In-Flight Base Supervisor, Anna Stuckey with Allegiant as well. Our Inline Maintenance uh, Manager, Paul Ranvalski with Allegiant is here. And the CEO of Winter Aviation, Mr. Rick Happ. For our County Commissioners, Chairman of the Okaloosa County Commission, Commissioner Mel Ponder, Okaloosa County Commissioner, Mr. Paul Mixon. There you are, sir. Okaloosa County Commissioner, Mr. Trey Goodwin. Uh, our Okaloosa County Aviation Board, uh, Mr. Chip Cook, our Chairman this year, Chip. And also with the Aviation Board, Lieutenant General Gordy Fornell, down here at the end, uh, Mr. Don Harrington, and Mr. Dick Russell with our Aviation Board. Thank you, gentlemen. Our Clerk of Courts, Mr. J.D. Peacock, is with us today. J.D. Our County Administrator, in Okaloosa County, that carries the big mallet, big man, Mr. John Hofstad, and his Deputy County Administrator, Mr. Craig Coffey, my direct boss, and uh, Mrs. Sheila Fitzgerald, Deputy County Administrator of Support Services, also here joining us. Right back there, Sheila. Uh, our County Attorney, Lynn Hachihara, is here. Right here. Make sure I won't say anything I'm not supposed to. And uh, <laughs> a partner of mine, and uh, really the, the gentleman that started a very successful unit with the uh, Oakland County Sheriff's Office, Mr. Uh, Mr. Major Michael Howe, uh, right down there at the end. Chad Rue is our captain with the Airport Security Unit, and the Lieutenant uh, Jeffrey Morgan is here as well. Uh, <clears throat> moving on here, we have the CEO of Whitesell Green, Rob Fabrero is here. Where's Rob at? He make you you're standing in for Rob. You're the man. President of MLM Martin Architects, Miguel Martin. Yes, sir. Vice President with Faber, Mr. Wally Janowskis. And the President of Faber, Mr. Chuck. Proper. We also have the president of Oakwells, Mr. Mike Riley. Mike's here, right in the back. 
We also have the president of the Northwest Florida State College, Dr. Devin Stevenson, joining us this morning. Devin. Uh, we have the founder and president of the Shu Educational Foundation, Dr. Paul Shu, or Amanda Negron, is here representing. Thank you, Amanda. The executive director of One Opelousa EDC, Mr. Nathan Sparks. And of course, our mayors from the city of Crestview, Mr. J.B. Witten and Mr. Dick Renierson from Fort Walton Beach. And uh, Ian, Mr. Ian Thompson from State Representative Pat Manny's office is also joining us representing uh, General Manny. Ian here. There you go, Ian. Thank you. Okay. That does it for my list. Sorry, it's a little lengthy, and uh, forgive me if I missed anybody, but uh, thank you all. Thank you all for coming. Uh, <clears throat> We are blessed to live in such a paradise that millions visit each year. Being one of 22 joint use commercial service airports in the country and the world's only scheduled facilitated airport, the Destin Fort Walt Beach Airport emulates the destination and more importantly represents the community we are made of. When our visitors land, they know they have arrived at a special place. Allegiant Air also knows and now celebrates six years of service at BPS. No other airline has invested into our community like Legion has. In fact, no airline in the 65 year history of BPS has made the level of commitment that Allegiant Air has. In 2016, Allegiant started service here to St. Louis and Cincinnati. Within two years, by 2018, Allegiant was providing service to 22 destinations and announced BPS as its newest base of operation. <coughs> This one expansion added 65 new jobs, a $49 million investment, year-round service, and an anticipated $418 million in tourism revenue on the three-year three -year horizon. The future will require much more capacity to meet the demands. The team fast-tracked numerous expansion plans from the parking lots on the north to our taxiways on the south. A sub-plan off our master plan was devised and Allegiant held no hesitation and in early 2019 signed an agreement and funded over $11.4 million to construct this new concourse. Somebody give me a somebody. <laughs> no hesitation for any deep. We selected MLM architects to design a concourse that met the Legion's business model and showcased our destination all within a very conservative budget. We completed the design and competitively bid the project the first week of March 2020. One week later, the entire airline industry collapsed overnight with the onset of the pandemic. Within a month, our county commissioners opened the beaches and families flocked to the number one destination, Destin for Walton Beach. We more than recovered, and the team collectively made the decision to rebid the project. We saved over a million dollars in the rebid with Weitzel Green Incorporated, and Allegiant decided to proceed with the build out of the entire five gate concourse design. The team succeeded through numerous challenges from material shortages and delays, labor crises that, that still exist today. In the past five years to date, over 9.3 million passengers have traveled through VPS, 2.6 million, or 27% of the total passenger count is from a legionnaire. Today we celebrate. <laughs> Today we celebrate an industry-leading partnership with a legion, with a trip which attributes to thousands of jobs, hundreds of millions and visitor spending with direct service to 35 cities. And bear with me, Asheville, Austin, Belleville, Bentonville, Bloomington, Boston, Chicago, Cincinnati, Clarksburg, Columbus, Concord, Des Moines, Evansville, Grand Rapids, Houston, Huntington, Indianapolis, Kansas City, Knoxville, Las Vegas, Lexington, Little Rock, Louisville, Memphis, Minneapolis, New York City, New York, Oklahoma City, Omaha, Peoria, Pittsburgh, Shreveport, Springfield, Tulsa, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, and Wichita, Kansas. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, Mike. That's what I'm talking about, Mike.
just doesn't happen overnight. And now the addition of this beautiful concourse. It has been an honor to work with the dozens of team members at Allegiant. Again, it is my privilege to welcome you all and thank you for attending today's celebration. With that, I would like to introduce the chairman of the Oklahoma County Board of County Commissioners. Please help me welcome Commissioner Mel Pond. Morning, everybody. It's great to be, be back before you again and just have a few brief comments uh, this morning. Uh, Mr. Goodwin, thank you, Mr. Mixon. Uh, on behalf of uh, also Commissioner Ketchell's not here, and Vice Chair Boyle's not here, but on, on behalf of the Oakland County Board of County Commissioners, thank you. It's an honor to have you with us today. Um, I don't know if it's prophetic or not, but of all places to be set up this morning across from Destiny, um, I think it's a pretty telling sign of what uh, what is happening here on our amazing Gulf Coast. And so, and between us and the exit is a big tray of donuts. And if you saw them the way I did, I'm looking forward to the way out. And, and I told somebody it's not even a fair fight when they have them hanging on hooks on the way out. It's just something that is easy to, to snack to snack on, but uh, and anyway, so partake uh, for it will be good. I want to thank also when we came in, you know, Tracy didn't ask me to say this, but he had all the ROTC students out greeting us and the way it wasn't that spectacular. Just to, uh, to get to <laughs> uh, Keith, your team from Allegiant, spectacular. Uh, we honor you guys and welcome you in uh, with a gracious spirit of hospitality should come in years back and continue to expand your footprint here. It's a great honor to have you here and your team here. Uh, we appreciate that. Tracy and your team always on the front lines fighting uh, to make what you're doing. I always thought yesterday you did tremendous and today it's almost like you push the barriers even further and continue to do amazing things in and through our airports department. So we appreciate that on behalf of the county. Thank you so much for your leadership there. Of course, John, your team always, always on the front lines doing great. And I'm glad he recognized you and likewise, make sure we stay, stay grounded and not, 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 not venture up too far. Um, but I just have a few comments this morning and then we'll get on with this morning's presentation. I'm going to give you a little bit of history, how we got to this point here on the grounds, and then hopefully just circle it back and then we'll kind of uh, introduce Keith to come speak on behalf of the Legion. A local businessman and airline enthusiast, James E. Plue, saw the advantages of bringing the military to a county suffering from the Depression. In 1934, Plew proposed to donate 1,460 acres to the U.S. government for a bombing and gunnery range. Later in 1937, the U.S. Army Air Corps mandated that the Valparaiso Bombing and Gunnery Base be renamed Eglin Field after Lieutenant Colonel Frederick Irving Eglin. After the establishment of the Air Force, Eglin Field later became Eglin Air Force Base, extending across 640 square miles. Today, contemporary aircraft and modern weaponry are now tested on the land that only yesterday Native Americans and pioneers struggled to survive. 1957, the Northwest Florida Air Terminal opened on Edmund Air Force Base. Southern Airways was a lone air carrier flying two flights per day. Passengers would enter on the east side of the base in Valparaiso, Florida, thus the airport code BPS was born. 1975, the Okaloosa County Air Terminal, located on State Road 85, opened its doors. The 32,000 square foot facility was constructed at a cost of $1.7 million, financed through federal, state, and local monies. First year patent, which is a big pales in difference compared to the 30 plus million invested in this facility alone. First year passengers totaled 185,000, with Southern Airways as the sole airline with 12 departing flights daily. 2004, the Okaloosa Regional Airport opened its doors following a major expansion program, including additional public parking and aircraft parking apron, a second parallel taxiway, landscaping, and a new 110,000 square foot passenger terminal. First year passengers totaled more than 800,000 people. In recent years, though, through purpose driven strategies, leadership, partnerships, and innovations, the citizens of Okaloosa County have been able to take advantage of increased accessibility. Thanks to partners like Delta, Southwest, American Airlines, and of course, Allegiant, Destin Fort Walton Beach Airport officially gets our community moving through nearly, really 40 to 50 direct flights throughout the United States. And as Tracy mentioned, 35 alone with Allegiant. Okaloosa County residents have seen tremendous growth in this airport, giving all of us an, an availability to reach around the globe. 
all this brings us today to the major step toward this, towards today, and not just that, but also tomorrow, in Concourse C. You know, if you kind of look at our travel, I reached out to Tracy and, and kind of said, you know, what does our, our travel look like? And it kind of ebbs and flows throughout the year. In large part, in our community, one thing that we recognize and honor is, is our fighting men and women in our military. Uh, they make up, them and the business community make up, depending on the time of year, 40 to 60 percent of our air travel. But at the local economy, they make up over 75 percent of, of our economic base. And so we should never, ever lose sight of that. So first, I want to thank the military for what they do. Of course, the grounds that we sit on today is part of the largest Air Force base by land mass in the world. Something we should never lose sight of here in Okaloosa County to always give honor where honors due to our fighting men and women. But that's the basis, really, of how our whole community has evolved. So it's around the military. When you factor in tourism, I know Jennifer Adams is here at our team. I know we also have, uh, I think, all of our chamber directors here present. We appreciate that, how they're always on the front line supporting and honoring uh, those, the marketplace, the business community. But Jennifer's done a tremendous job of growing our base of tourism. Uh, I think Allegiant, with over 30, well, 35 destinations, plus the other carriers that are present, are bringing a load of tourists to come in. Uh, and it's always, to me, I've always said it's, it's just a spirit or gift of hospitality we have over our area that when they come in one way, this is their front porch. If they, if they travel by air, this is their front porch. They come in to see the spirit of excellence, this is their front porch. So I want them to come in one way, experience you, experience what you bring to the table so that that one encounter, they go back home and say, I don't know what's going on in northwest Florida and in Okaloosa County, but I've got to get back. And so that hospitality spirit, you know, when you look at the word hospitality, it doesn't say necessarily how we treat people from these communities. It's really how we treat each other. And so that's always an opportunity we have. And then with the business, I don't know how many people have come here, whether it's through the Department of Defense or tourism, and later relocated here and moved, or perhaps even expanded their business here or started a new one. So it provides all these tremendous opportunities uh, that we get to sit on this side of their efforts and be part of. And so whether it's destiny, are just the spirit of today of what's happening to the great leadership of this county. Now, one thing that we should never take for granted is our leadership in this county is spectacular. What we're doing is just different. And so, for myself, I'm humbled to be part of what we're doing in this community. On behalf of our commissioners, we're humbled to be part of what's, what's happening in our community. But thank you as well for making what we do great. For without you, our community is just not the same. Each of you have an assignment and a purpose. Without you stepping up to do that each and every day, our community is not the same as it could be. So from my perspective, thank you for that. But I also want to give thanks for Mr. Keith Hansen and his team at Allegiant. I want to invite him up now because without Allegiant and their partnership and their investment in our community, we just don't have days like today. Without our team that came and brought the wisdom, the manpower to bring it together, we don't have days like today. So with that, if you please give a Northwest Florida welcome to Mr. Keith Hansen and Allegiant Air Force. Wow, what a day. Thank you so much, Tracy and Chairman. We are both honored and, and humbled to be here. And Chairman, I wanted to, to just pick up on what you just left off on, the leadership in this county, from the county commissioners to the um, uh, county administrators to the airport. You know, we serve 130-ish airports throughout the country, and we only have one partnership like this, and there's a reason for that. It's the leadership of this county and the individuals that you have working here I, I think in many ways you're the luckiest county in America. So if we could, just one more round of applause for everybody. Again, we couldn't be more excited to be here. You know, when we um, started talking about flying to the Panhandle, we, we weren't exactly sure where to go. And we come from Vegas, right? We're, we're from the gambling capital of the world. We, we place bets out there. And I think the safest bet we ever made in our company's history was to bet on this destination. And it wasn't anything that we did. Again, it wasn't, it wasn't us. It was the people here who made it happen. You've got something here that is incredibly special. When people come to Destin, they feel it. They know where they are. And they, they see that white sand beaches, the Emerald Coast, and they love it. They can't get enough of it. And they keep coming back. And, and we were shocked. I think you all probably weren't shocked. But we were shocked at how quickly Destin grew. As Tracy mentioned, we, we started with just a couple of flights. And pretty soon, a couple of flights wasn't enough. And then pretty soon, a couple of planes wasn't enough. We had to add more planes. And then pretty soon, the terminal over here wasn't enough, or the concourse wasn't enough. And that's where we ended up today with this, with this beautiful new building, which I have to say is not, um, 
didn't come at an exorbitant cost, and that is another thing that's unique among this airport, is they understand fiscal responsibility and how to build things in a unique way to keep costs down. And what that does, keeping costs down, is it makes it easy for us to bring people here because the fares can stay low. When we bring people to Destin, we want them to be able to get here with enough money in their pocket so that they can go enjoy all the things that you've built for them here. So they can stay in the hotels and go on the boats and go fishing and see the dolphin tours and all the amazing things that are here. That's what keeps them coming back. And, and that's, we, we recognize that. Nobody is flying on Allegiant because they love Allegiant. I hope they love Allegiant. I want them to love Allegiant. But they're flying on us because they want to come here. They want to come visit you. They want to come see everything that Destin has to offer and see this community that you built. Again, I think it's, it's, it's one of the premier destinations now in the country. Your secret is out. I, I hate to say it. If you thought you were in this quiet community and you could get away with, you know, not, not heavy tourists, I think those days are long over. The secret is out. Everybody knows now what Destin is, Fort Walton Beach is, and they are coming here in droves. And we couldn't be happier to be the vessel that is bringing them from places all over the country. In fact, I, I flew in last night directly from Las Vegas to, to Destin. And I can't wait to come back again with my family, again, because of the spirit that is here. Um, I'd love to, to thank, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the Allegiant team here that made this possible. If we could ask them to all stand, staying up here, the Allegiant team members here, please stand and let us thank you for all the work that you've done. These are, these are the, the, the team members that make this stuff happen, that get people here, that get the customers here, the passengers here. There are customers, but they're yours as well. You embrace them as a community. You convince them to come back. They have a fantastic time. And again, that's, that's what we're going for. Uh, we couldn't be happier. We couldn't be more thrilled to be here. I, I, I will say one last thing. I've heard a, a couple people mention uh, this is the Allegiant Concourse. Isn't it great? You know, it's the Allegiant Concourse. And while I would love to have this be called the, the Allegiant Concourse, it is not the Allegiant Concourse. This is the concourse for the community. It's for the travelers who are coming to Destin, who are going to get here and, again, have money left over to spend. And it's for the residents. Again, I, I don't know why you would ever want to leave, but if, if you do ever want to leave, there's a, there's a place for you to come where you can get to, I think, 35 now, 38 different destinations where you can get out and, and go away. Again, I don't know why you would want to do that, but maybe there's something that comes up and you, you need to travel. Uh, we're, we're here for you to, to, so you, so you can do that. We can make that happen. Um, lastly, again, we'd just like to thank everybody, all the hands that, that made this possible, from the, the county commissioners. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your effort, all your work to make this happen. We, we couldn't be happier. It's the only one of its kind that I'm aware of, certainly that Allegiant has ever done. And, and we are so proud of this partnership with this community. It means a tremendous amount to us. So thank you very much. And we look forward to, to more and more years of service. I think we're at six. Um, I hope we get 60 at some point. Thank you very much. Again, I'm uh, happy to be here today to help celebrate this concourse. Uh, been here since the inception and saw a number of the challenges that we were able to go through from the engineering and the architecture side of the house to the bidding process to the construction and just all the integration. And I look around and I see so many, um, you know, wonderful people who have helped contribute to this. So uh, thank you again for being here. And, and with that, we want to take a, a minute just to recognize a few uh, folks that were extremely instrumental in making this all uh, happen today. So I'm going to uh, call up a few folks or a few companies, and if you would, uh, I'll have a specific person come up and accept the plaque on behalf of, of your company. Um, first one's going to be MLM Architects. MLM Architects was the prime architect and engineering firm for both the design and construction services for Concourse C. They began design of the concourse in June of 2019 and completed in time for the first project bid in February of 2020. They were retained for the second bid attempt a year later and have been with the project through completion. MLM's contract included managing seven additional engineering specialists, accepting today's recognition for MLM on behalf of the architect and engineer team is Miguel A. Martin, 
of the father and son team, MLM Architects. Good job. The next company had a huge role, probably one of the largest in seeing what you, what you see here today is uh, Whitesell Green Incorporated. Whitesell Green Incorporated was the prime general contractor for the county to build out the base building with a total contract value of $12,683,000 when it's all said and done. Uh, they also incorporated the uh, Sierra Construction, the general contractor for the, for the concessions. They began construction in April 2021 and overcame numerous challenges within the industry to provide substantial use of the facility in June 2022, allowing DPS to make it through another challenging peak summer season, relieving pressure from the main terminal, which was absolutely tremendous this, this season. Project manager Charles Walker and foreman Hugh Simmons were instrumental in driving their team of subcontractors and material suppliers to deliver the project in what you see today. Accepting today's recognition on behalf of President Rob Favreau is the project manager Charles Walker, Whitesell Green. <laughs> Next, we're going to do a combo deal for our concessionaires. So, from uh, Faber and Oakwells, Mr. Chuck Gropper, the president of Faber Company. <laughs> and from Oakwells, Mike Riley, CEO. Together, Faber and Oakwells contributed to a combined $5.1 million capital investment for concession build-outs that include national and destination theme brands. The concessions teamwork total expenditures include all architectural rendering, engineering, and construction costs through their team of Silhouette Design Architecture and Sierra Construction. Thank you. I'm going to add a little bit to that, Chad. Thank you so much. But uh, when, we, when we were looking at building out the shell, obviously concessions is a huge part of that. It's a big revenue generator for the airport, which actually, actually uh, it actually plays into the rates and charges to the carriers, which brings down the cost for, for folks like Allegiant specifically. But when we went out to, when we went out to Faber and Oakwells, they're family. They have a huge investment in the main terminal. And guys, how can you come in and fairly take a concourse and between the two of you determine who's going to build what understanding our expectations which were incredibly high and emulate the destination and some national brands and for you guys to come back to the table with what you came back with in a 5.1 million dollar investment without anything in exchange is significant so we thank you again for your partnership. I know you're going to do well, and I probably you already have done really well. So um, thank you very much for the beautiful facilities. Thank you. So if I could, um, if I could get um, my senior staff up here, Allison, Mike Stenson. Chad Rogers, Thane Klingler, if you could join us up here. <clears throat> we got a you know a special presentation, you know from uh, from the senior staff, and really this is this is very special. And I hope uh, Thane and Keith uh, hang this in the headquarters, so when we do come out and talk about <laughs> cities and you know, the revenue you're making here and <laughs> how well you are doing. And, this and that. Um, I hope I come in the front door of your beautiful headquarters in Las Vegas and I see this photo because this is the photo that, if you could check, grab it on up here for me, sir. Thank you. That's the sketch, the, the first sketch when we were looking at how are we going to meet the demands? The demands were through the roof. It wasn't on our master plan. We had a 20 year master plan, but we needed something yesterday. And that's the original artwork of this concourse and bringing in MLM to make it happen in literally less than a year and a half through a pandemic, which <laughs> I'll leave it at that, but it's truly amazing. And this piece of art is the original that, that uh, we want to present to you, Keith.
and you thank for your for your headquarters along along with this plaque. So thank you. Scissors, please come back here and stand back here. Uh, if you're if you're an elected official, please stand back here. Aviation board members, I need you in the very front. County commissioners, very front with your with your scissors. Um, concessionaires, my staff, <laughs> business partners. I'm gonna hope empty up all the stands back here. But um, concessionaires, please come back here and line up with us in front of right behind the ribbon and we'll count to three and we'll cut we'll cut the ribbon together and officially open five brand new gates uh, for the Legionnaire Conference. Six seats, wide slap full coming in for CBG. Give a hand. Give a hand. Welcome to the Duncan Football Beach Airport. Appreciate you folks from CBG coming in. Our family. Bring it in. Come on through. Make a home. Don't be shy. Come on. Keep doing your best. So it's going to be on your on your command key. So um, can we count down from three? Go ahead, sir. All right, three, two, one. Some of our wonderful food from our concessionaires and drinks. 
And we're going to have our chairman, Mr. Mel Ponder, <laughs> and Mr. Keith Hanson, Senior Vice President of Legion, to unveil the building plaque out front. So on, on your on your marks. Thank you very much. So uh, again, thank, thanks everybody for uh, for coming. Please again enjoy the, the great food from our concessionaires and some lunch. And um, again, thank you, thank you very much, especially to my staff. You guys did a, a tremendous job last night. <laughs> I hate to be the person standing in the way of, of donuts and coffee and everything else over there, but we'd be remiss if, if we didn't take a moment as well from Allegiant to recognize uh, a few individuals. Of course, there's far too many to name, and I, I don't have enough planes to, to give away to recognize everybody, but there, there are a few that we wanted to, to present um, some Allegiant airplanes to. Now, these are, I, I have to say, these are coveted items in the aviation world. I've been at the company for, I think, almost 15 years, and. They haven't even given me one of these yet, so so maybe at some point I'll, I'll be able to, to get one um, if I do something like this. But but just to, if we can ask Tracy to come up. Tracy, thank you so much. We appreciate everything you've done. This will look good in your office. Um, this is the Visit Florida brand in Allegiant Liberty. Uh, it's the only CDB tourism authority that we have on our aircraft, and it, it happens to be Visit Florida. We think it's appropriate for today. We have one for you as well that I think will also look great in your office. So thank you so much. actually hoping to take that picture and hang it up in my house, but I'm worried that if Tracy comes to the office and doesn't see it hanging up, um, I might get fired. So it'll, it'll definitely be going up in the office exactly where he tells us to put it. Thank you all so much. We really appreciate it.